they were more than willing to allow us to do what we wanted to do. They were totally into it. The only thing that freaked them out was that we wanted to have a relationship between Shaggy and Velma. That was it. That was the one. That was the thing that freaked them out more than anything. It was like, oh, we can't. Oh my God. And you know, we it's so weird. Why would you do that? And we kept saying, there's a reason we're doing it. We have an idea for Velma and we want to start it in the first season and pay it off in the second season. We couldn't tell them that what we were going to do was we wanted to show the sort of arc of this female care of this character because we knew about the tropes and we knew what they were saying on the internet all the time and we were like you know what we should we should freaking lean into that and we should do that so tony and i made a decision at the before we even uh, wrote the pilot that okay so velma is gay and we're gonna show her though as a character that doesn't know that in the beginning or has feelings but doesn't understand them which is why she kind of acts the way she does in the beginning of the series and why by the end of the series, you have to be kind of blind not to notice that she's gay. So, um, but we were not allowed to say that. They, that was a pretty much uh, a line in the sand with the studios. We, at that time, you could not do, especially in Scooby-Doo, you could not, they wouldn't show a gay character. They just wouldn't. Um, there were a bunch of things like that. It was like that. There was also, um, we, after, after Scooby, I worked on a version of Batman where I wanted to do the character of Oracle um, from the comic books in a wheelchair. And that also got killed because they said they didn't want to show characters in wheelchairs. They said it, it's depressing. Flash forward now to now, and we're doing the show that I'm doing now, Big Nate, um, we were encouraged to put in a handicapped character. So, I mean, things have changed for the better in that sense, as well as you know being able to show gay characters now. But at that time, um, you couldn't. So we had to sort of hide it. So we took a lot of flack from the audience about Velma's character because they were like, no, oh, well, she's, so, so, she's so bitchy towards Shaggy. And, this, you know, I mean, we've got a lot of hate, hate, basically. Um, and Tony and I just sort of had to bite our tongues. And, and so if you read any interviews from us in that time, I think a couple, we were like, just wait and see. We're doing something. We have a plan, but um, they, most people just want to get angry about it. So, anyways, you know. But if you go back and watch it, you'll see that she just she doesn't know how to act with Shaggy. She's she just she doesn't know. She she's not getting from Shaggy what she wants to get, and she herself doesn't understand it. And Shaggy's a little bit too insecure and naive to understand it too. He'd just rather be with his dog. Um, Later on in that, I think it's in the first season, Velma finds a mermaid at one point. Um, and this female mermaid that she forms this, in, this really this bond with. And we thought that that would explain to the audience, like, look what we're doing here. You know, this is not a, you know, it's not haphazard that she's falling in love with a female mermaid. There's a reason uh, nobody got it. Uh, maybe in hindsight, they got it, but they didn't at the time. <laughs> 